Yo, what's good? It's your boy Brick. It's another episode of GTV Brick Layer Productions Interviews. Mm. Here, my boy J. Dot. What's good with you? How you doing, man? I'm cool, man. How you doing? Chilling, man. How you feeling, man? Just out here doing these videos. What's good with you? Shit, trying to figure shit out, you know. Take everything little by little. Alright, so let's get straight to it with the J. Dot. Like, let them know what's the meaning behind your name and shit. Shit, I ain't gonna lie, I got that name from my brother, the hot sauce, when I was just chilling with him every day. We just always get up and shit like that, you know, we just always be like, he loved Kobe, so it was like, I always told him my, my very fair play with Dwayne Wade, so it was like, he like, bro, if we ever become a rapper, fuck basketball, if we ever become a rapper, where'd it be a name? I don't know, like, I just, I don't know, I got stuck with J. I was like, what I'm gonna do with the J, you feel me, so... I stuck with it for a minute, I didn't even know what I was gonna do with that. I'm like, what the fuck I'm gonna do with this name? Like, Plus the government already start with it, Jay, so. I don't even know what I'm about to do with this shit, you feel me? And they just like, I'm like, fuck it, you know what? And yeah. uh, J-Dot, nigga, J-Dot Benjamin, I'm gonna get some money too. I want everything to me about money, everything with a value, you feel me? Like, when you live life, you feel me? You want it to feel like. You rich even though if you're not, you feel me? Like you want I your swear. you want your spirit to feel rich. You don't gotta be rich, you feel good, you feel me? So it's like, you know, J Dot feel like I feel like that shit mean to me like on some like free spirit, like you feel me, I don't, I ain't gonna stop for nobody, I ain't gonna feel no way for nobody, I'm gonna fend for everybody and you know I'm a real nigga, so I'm gonna do that like that how I could, you feel me? Work, work. Yeah, so, so talk about like your upbringing, like what made you want to start music, like when you realized you started like want to start doing music. I'm gonna be honest, I would have never thought I did music. If you ask me, I was a basketball player at first. I was nice too. Oh, what type of talent? I'll yeah. be no, I know, I know, <laughs> I was different. But like you know, music came around when after I lost my father, my brothers, you feel me, my sister Sway, you feel me. All types of people. You know, I can name a lot of people, but it's like life hurts you, it's full of resentment. You either gonna live in the past and dwell and not grow, or you're gonna be that nigga that gonna move forward and figure something out for yourself. Like So I've been on some shit like where I'm trying to grow in my own ways and like trying to see how I could better everything in my predicaments and my environment. I'm not trying to let no man behind. Like even if nigga don't like me. It hurts because you be like, damn, you wildin', bro. What you mean? Fuck a nigga that I'm like. I'ma be honest with you. No man left me high cause we, we all human, you feel me? Like, people live all this earth full of hatred. That's not me, bro. I ain't gonna sit here and be like, oh, I hate you cause you don't like me. If you don't like me, man, I hope God hears your heart, you feel me? Like, that's just for bullshit, like, you feel me? We about bunk, straight paper, straight money. I, I want niggas to win, like, that's just no, my heart. Fuck, fuck I'm gonna hate for. I don't got shit to do with no hate, bro. Shit, not me. Right. So, right, so you just, like, stay in your lane, do your thing, and just mind your business. You ain't got yeah, time yeah, I just to be like my paper to flow my right own here. way. My paper to flow my own way, and my love come, circle, come from the circle that love me and want to be around me, you feel me? Like... I don't want nothing to come out of like just because you feel like you gotta do that. You feel me? I want everything to be genuine. All right. So, who are some artists that you grew up with, like that your mom was playing when you was younger that like influenced you and like inspired you? Like put you, they could hear the sound of that in your music. Like what you're doing now. I'm gonna be honest. It'll be none. Cause my parents is full Dominican, so like my mother, she'll be like bumping some. Like if she was back in the day, if it was by Chata, she'll be bumping some. Some motherfucking, um, what's his name? Uh, this is Sundays crazy. No, wonder, no, hold on, give me a second. I no, got Sundays is hold lit. On, hold on, no, hold on. <laughs> so, my mom used to listen a lot to Anthony Santo around the time. And you know, my father's favorite artist uh, back in the day was Frank Reyes. You feel me? And those are two artists, and I don't know if they're in like Bachata or in the lane of that. They're not them both for real. they like old school, so it's like. It's just different type of vibes, like, you feel me? Like, I'm used to being different. So it's like, that's what I'm trying to bring to the table. Like, I don't want to be none of these hatred-ass niggas, like, that one for they, like, for, you know what I mean? With all that bullshit, like, that shit not it, you feel me? Like, that's for hoes. Right, so you mainly had, like, a, a Latin, Latin, Spanish background with the music at first. So when was it, like, you started listening, like, to rap, and you was like, oh, shit, I like this, like, I'm trying to do this? I don't know. I, I just woke up one day like, I'm like, bro, I'm about to try to make a hit. 
I was fucking around. Like, I, at first, who inspired me was the Migos. They used to do some crazy shit. Like, when we used to start it, like, you no, know, like, rap before it became R&B and all that elevated. Like, the way this shit switched up so fast when the Migos came, like, it was like, they came to change the game, like, something different. Like, I want to stand out like that in my own way. I ain't trying to be out here, like, capping about killing niggas and be out here just being the most dangerous and vicious nigga. Like, that's not my body. Like, even if niggas be like, oh, damn, what you mean? Like, I'm not a weak nigga, but that's not my body. I'm not about to sit and fill your ass up with, like, bullshit and hate and shit that, like, corrupt your mind when you could be a businessman, an entrepreneur, a doctor, a lawyer, a good nigga. Like, anything, like, you might about to corrupt your mind when you got way better and much potential as a human being. You feel what I'm saying? All right, so when was the first time you refer when was the first time you recorded your first track? Oh, like two, like two thousand and nineteen. Yeah. You remember the name of it? It was called Double the Budget. How that shit went? That shit was fire. I performed that at like coast to coast live uh performance, you know what I mean? That shit was trill like you get what I'm saying? That type of shit was just like amazing. Like, I don't give a fuck if it was a thousand people out there. It was, even if it was a hundred people, I had fun, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, my nigga, I got to perform my song. Like, I'm from the hood, like, you feel me? Even if niggas be like, oh, that dumbass, you feel me, performance or your goof ass situation. Like, nigga, that shit was hard to me. Sweet. You get what I'm saying? Like, everybody's experience is not everybody, it's not gonna be the same, you feel me? But everybody could get to the same situation eventually. This is not the rabbit who won the race, it was a turtle. And they gotta do the math, not to cut you <laughs> off. You from DR. You started rapping in 2019. Your flow up the part or past niggas that been doing this shit. I you wish it was. Born and raised in this country at like that. You ain't even from. You, your, your first language wasn't even English, no cap, bro. I ain't gonna. I was there, bro. I seen it. You done came a long way. That shit a different type of story, man. You ain't even. No English. It's like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Cool. So, like, what makes you different? Your music stand out from other artists different. Like, what make me want to pick but your music easy. out from another artist? That's very easy. I'm not standing for shit that's going to promote to hurt our generation of kids that's growing up in the mindset of real niggas that supposed to be moving like real niggas. I don't, I don't want to filter and alter different conversation in niggas' minds that they, that don't need to be there, like. And I dealt with the craziest niggas, stupidest niggas, and they never violated me. Why well, I want, want to know why, for real though? It's because I never had a reason to try to play with them. Like, there's nothing for me to, like, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. You can kill somebody around, and I'ma still say, man, listen, all I can tell you is, bro, you still my brother at the end of the day, but you gotta move past life now. What you gonna do after today? Like, how did you feel that that, like, what did it accomplish? Like, and this not saying this is a real situation. This is in perspective. You get what I'm saying? This is not even nothing that happened. I'm saying in general, like, if somebody was to come to me and say they killed somebody, how am I supposed to feel like, oh, you're a murderer? You don't know what's that person's reason or precautions. You don't know if he had to save his own life. Like, you don't know what the man got going on. Like, <laughs> And you over here just guessing like, damn, this nigga did this? Oh, goddamn, let me. So I just sit around and sit back and just be like, you know what I mean, bro? I sit back and understand like, I'm not gonna judge nobody's situation, but I damn sure not gonna feel like I'm gonna let myself alter myself to let people seek a message that I'm not trying to say. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a, I'm not about a cat. I ain't no cat ass nigga, that's not it. Right, so you, cap shit, you showing the, 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 the kids younger than you and shit that you could just, be yourself, you don't gotta cap about killing and other niggas. You don't gotta be like that. Yeah, you just You know what that do, bro? All that shit was listen what to that shit do, bro. Ready? That shit filters their mind with bullshit. That gets kids feeling like they the shit. They feel like Superman once they grab a grip. <laughs> I swear. And the moment that they have a gun, they're gonna kill somebody innocent or somebody that doesn't need to be dead because they feel that That's much hate. No, they feel some resentment and hatred towards something they would had to get forced to believe in. You get what I'm saying? That's not even something natural they was trying to do. They just got forced into a, a fake religion of death. Bullshit. People don't know how to be human. People are losing their sanity over this rap shit. That's fuck boy shit.
So, so some artists like Dead or Alive, who would if you could do a track with them, who would they be? Dead or Alive? Mm -hmm. They could be goes. industry or, or from out here. From the industry out here? Yeah. If I could do a song from a person out here, it would be with like my brother out there, like Fuego Flop. Five. On my bro on my brother Debo. Mm -hmm. On my brother uh Big Mike. They don't know about him yet. They don't he ain't got nothing going on yet. Uh, as far as I know, I ain't talked to them in a minute, but you know, Flea Cheese my brother too, you know what I'm saying? But it's like I just want niggas to know like at the end of the day, bro, if we gonna live a different type of lifestyle, we're gonna live it right, you feel me? Like get money, make music. Yeah, Keep the kids positive. You can make as much money to help your community do it. You feel me? Till I could get there, you feel me? I salute everybody that got there. Word of my mother, because I swear to God, God better bless you a thousand times. I love you. But in the end, bro, that's my goal. You feel me? Like, anybody to be here. To eat peacefully. That's all it is, bro. Sure. Now, where you be in the studio, how you like it to be? Like, you like to be in the studio, like, by yourself? You and just a producer, or you just, you like to be, like, packed with, like, the vibes? Like, you know, you and the homies, people in the studio? Yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm gonna fuck. Bro, I'm gonna get litty in any situation. Don't along with us, man. You already know the vibes, man. Right? Tell him. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, he don't care. Wait. If I'm in the studio, if I'm, uh, if I'm trying to lock in, I probably be there with like one nigga try to ask for his opinion and all sorts of things like You know what I mean? If it's a situation where it's like a party situation where I know that the vibes is lit, the beat is hard, everything is simple You know, I'm not on straight gobo And I know I can still make it crisp, I had the guys around have fun Cause they could give me ideas too, cause it's just like you never know, like everybody is special Everybody got creativity in their mind, even if it's a one, even if it's a heartbeat compared to a thousand of them. Everybody got some type of special in them. Yeah, shit. Word, word. So, if you still doing this thing in like five to ten years, like, where do you see yourself? With the greatest. I ain't gonna lie to you, because I ain't gonna be out uh -huh. here playing like I don't know what I'm doing. I'm about to be smart about my shit. I, this, you can't make buddy beef, you heard? So, beef. Beef is for kids that's growing up, like you in high school, middle school, bro. Once you a grown ass man, bro, you don't even go for what the next man talk about. You know what I'm saying? Because you're so worried about what the fuck you're trying to accomplish. It's never about what a nigga talking about. It's just about what you're trying to get going. What you got, it's the beginning of the year and shit, so like, what you got planned, like, going on? You know, we just did our own thing together. Y'all be on the lookout for that, but besides that, what else you got going on for the year? What's coming up? second, boss. Tell them to shut up, bro. So, you know, we just did our thing, you know, set the stage thing. That's going to be coming out soon. What else you got coming out for the year that they could be looking forward to? More music. More positivity, more like, more like me involved with my community, even if it, it, it may hurt me, you know, it, like, it's crazy, like, you feel me, people don't push towards peace, like, people think like, oh, that's bullshit, that's a different type of war, you don't know how to play that war, you feel me, like, people will be quick to be like, yo, I know how to beef, but do you know how to create peace, that's a different type of war, brother, so when, when you're trying to do certain shit like that, you gotta just be ready for anything, that's about it. All right, so that being said, let them know, like, the artists, what they need to do to contact you or anybody, like, where they could uh, hit you up for features or, like, if they need you to do a performance somewhere where they could hit you up at, where they could find your music. You can find me in j.benjamins on, on IG. You can contact my email, j.benjamins7 at gmail.com. You feel me? Like, you can ask me questions about life. You ain't even got to talk to me about no music. <laughs> I just real shit, like we here for everybody, you feel me? We here to make sure everybody feel comfortable and safe. But that's just life, bro. No, like people, you see a lot of people out here think they talk about a lot of people pray on the week. That's just how that go. Right. With that being said, be on the lookout. I'm gonna have that freestyle coming soon, alright? And I miss the hoes.
Man, I miss them times that we was riding for a ride for a nigga for a clothes. Bitches always call us lying. Nigga, I don't want no more. I was trying to get the, you know, I get the dough. Woke up every day when I was fucked up in that A6O. So homicide up for how we came up, put that on the bros. Nigga, I ain't tripping, but bitches steady wildin' too. Came up from that jungle. I was right there on that avenue. They're like off the top. I done spread it like a vomit fluid. Nigga, Said they knew us. I done came up, pull up in that form. Niggas look like Buford and Harper that you call a neck. Call a nigga office, cause they really can't put to the test. They'll shake on you. They'll shake they up. I'm upset, just put the ass on it. Niggas really fake, that's on the set But I done came up straight up from the hood And I'm proud of me They're just off the dome and I'ma rap it For the fall my grace Niggas try to play that nigga This the jungle will escape Nigga, I done came up fake Just from the homie where the great Nigga, I done came up from the jungle That's the hard knock Fuck it though, I'ma go and ball it up That hard knock Bitches always saying what you doing I live that hard life Niggas try to say just what you do, I'm whipping hard right. Said nigga, what you mean? I got everything. Sack I'm steady lying. I move smooth like a wedding ring. I don't give a fuck, cause bitches talk like everything. Better watch your bitch, cause she'll drop the drip. <clears throat> Better watch your bitch, cause she'll give the loaf on everything. Remember all them times when I ain't have it worth of everything. Love my niggas, but I knew it for my dogs on everything. Buried to the game, but I had to put a wedding ring. Fuck, that shit, fuck it though. Came up from the city. That's that homicide Nigga said When you roll them dice It's better do or die Said they really knew us But I'm foreign like exclusive Bad huh? bitches just never knew us In the news we put computers huh? Like they saying what they doing I remember all them times We was wake up every day Just selling them nickels and them dimes huh? We was hustle how we grind Came up straight up from the shine Said I came up from the city Where I hustle every time oh, Nigga right. said they really knew us hey. Niggas really look like you for yeah. Had a go and get this music, rapping, go and get influenced. How to came up out this music? When my mind was steady spinning, never was really fucking going. Like my mind was steady, listening, thinking, thinking, what you doing? Cause I'm thinking about this hard life. Nigga, I was trying to go and get it. Man, that hard life. Nigga, I ain't give a fuck what nigga said or was right. Nigga, I just had to make sure nigga was just. This for sauce and this my dog and this my my little brother. I ain't give a fuck cause nigga I ain't undercover. I'm state front like page nigga under uh say mm mm uh like the summer salt. It's my dog and you know I do this shit for sauce. Shout out Sway man that was my sis. That my big sis man I love her, dog. Mm. What you said man?